Hello gentle viewers, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today will be a beauty video. I was recently going through my makeup and realized I have a lot of red lipsticks. So today will be my red lipstick collection. I have, I got a fair amount. I got, I got a whole bunch. A nice mix of drugstore and high end. So if you like red lipsticks, look no further. Melanie has your answers. Lipstick love! Mwah! God, I'm weird. Right now on my lips, I'm wearing a Russian Red by MAC. Yeah, it's pretty much my go-to. It's a very bluey red. It has blue undertones. Russians just do it best, what can I say? So today I will be lip swatching each and every red, but I'm going to try and make this video not so long. I'll do some close-ups so you can see what it's like, you know, on my face. <laughs> Next we have, um, it's the Rimmel London um, Kate Moss ones, um, is it Kate Moss? I think it's Kate Moss, right? I don't know. Uh, this is the 01, I think it's a little bit darker than the Russian Red, it still has the blue undertones that I love. There's like the orange undertones for red, or the blue undertones, and I'm a blue undertone girl all the way. It's not matte, but it's not like too... I don't want to say creamy, that word sounds gross. It's not too glossy? I don't know. So this one's a little darker. This is the same brand. It's the um, Rimmel London Kate ones. This is the 11. That was the 01, this is the 11. It's a little bit darker, which I'm kind of into, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of these I haven't worn in like years, so it's like I'm rediscovering all these lipsticks. I'm into it. It's a terrible application, but other than that, it's a great color. This next one here was really hard to put on. I had quite the trouble with it. It's such a nice color. Um, it's the Wet n Wild, which is probably one of the cheapest lipsticks you can get. Well, one of the cheapest cheapest lipsticks I own, I think. I don't know. It's a very cheap brand, but a lot of their products are really good, so you might want to go to Walmart and invest. The only thing is the packaging's not the best. I've had trouble with this packaging. I have a bunch of these lipsticks. The lid comes off super easily, which is really annoying. For some reason, I always like check my teeth when I wear red lipsticks. For one, to make sure I have no lipstick on my teeth, and for two, to see how white it makes my teeth look. Because the worst thing is to wear red lipstick and have it make like, your teeth look yellow. My teeth ain't yellow. But yeah, it looks really dried out. I opened it and I thought it was like, I don't know, done so. And then putting it on, it's actually pretty like, uh... why do I keep wanting to say creamy? Satin? I don't know. It's it's nice, but it does obviously transfer fairly easily. That's why I like mattes, because I feel like they transfer onto things a little bit less. Wet n Wild. Oh yeah, it's duh. It's the Wet n Wild. It's called uh, Stop Light Red, which reminds me of Hooker's. So I'm wearing a Hooker lipstick. See ya at the corner. This next one is Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Um, 690 Siren in Scarlet. Once again, also sounds like a hooker. Apparently only women of the night wear red lipstick, so I'm fine with that. So yeah, I w as I was putting this on, I noticed it's more pinky than some of the other reds I have been wearing in this video. Not, it's more subtle. I don't know if, I know it's not like subtle, but it's more subtle than the other ones. It's like super soft. Those are, those are my notes on this, on this bad boy here. I like the name, Siren and Scarlet. Okay, so my battery died and I lost the sun. 
So you may notice that my makeup slash hair looks a little bit different. That's because it's a whole different day right now. So hopefully it's not too noticeable, but we're trekking through. We're getting through these lipsticks. Okay. The next one we have is the same brand that I just showed. I think. I can't really remember. Uh, it's the Maybelline. It's the Maybelline ones. This one's called Red Revival. It's on my lips right now. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit darker than the one I showed before, I believe. Uh, I think I like it a little bit better than the one I showed before. I've learned from putting on these uh, red lipsticks that my lips are incredibly uneven, so that's always fun to figure out. So this one is the last of my drugstore red lipsticks. Uh, this is the Rimmel London um, in 500 Diva Red. Uh, this one is probably the most liquidy um, red lipsticks that I have. It really slides around, which kind of concerns me. No wonder. I feel like I've very rarely worn this. It's like one of those lipsticks where you're terrified that like if you just touch it, it's gonna like smear. I feel like this is very smearable. I mean, it's not a bad color. I just, I'm not a fan of the formula. Yeah. Next one is a high-end lipstick. It's from Lime Crime. I love the packaging because there's a unicorn on it and I'm a fan of unicorns. Um, this is Glamour 101. It's one of the darkest ones uh, we've done this video yet. I really like the color and I have to say that I know some people can't afford high-end. With some of these brands, man, it's just worth the money. The formula is just great. The colors are great. There is some good drugstore ones for sure, but man, high-end is it's pretty worth it. I don't, it's funny, I don't usually wear this color very often. I don't know why. It's very pretty. Okay, last but not least, this is definitely the darkest uh, red lipstick that I own. It's uh, NARS uh, Audacious Lipsticks in Janine. Don't know where they got that name, but whatever. Um, I like it a lot. It's very like old school Hollywood. Luke, I am your father. Come to the dark side. So just as we're losing the sun, I finally finished this video. Yay! So those are all my, all the red lipsticks that I own, uh, drugstore and high-end. So now just really quickly, I'll tell you what I suggest for them. My go-to red lipstick for the foreseeable future is obviously the MAC Russian Red. It is just the best. It just looks really good with my eyes and my hair and my skin tone. Uh, and I get like the most compliments about it when I'm out wearing it. So definitely worth the price, worth everything. Purchase this, it's great. Russian Red. Obviously some people don't want to spend $30 on lipstick. Totally understandable. Um, I really do like the Wet n Wild lipsticks. If you don't care about packaging, these are the probably the cheapest lipstick you can get. The color payoff is really good. I have a bunch of these lipsticks. I actually don't wear them as much as I should. Let me know what your favorite brand of lipstick is. Comment down below. Do the lipstick dance. That's, I don't know, I just made that up.